when you're ready to retrieve the file you go to my computer and then go down here to your main drive and then locate the Holy Bible and then locate the New Testament and there's the file that we downloaded and we click on it once and then we click on it actually we double click on it double click and you see it says there extract all files these are the these are the files that are in there and then it says extract all files and you hit extract and then the wizard comes up this is the wizard for extracting these files and then you hit next and it tells you where they're going to extract the files to which is a folder right where you where the file is and then you hit next and it extracts them and then you can have it show you the files that it extracted and so we'll say okay and we'll finish and those are the files that it opens up another window and it shows you the files that we put that we extracted now all we have to do to make those files work is to go ahead and is to go ahead and click on one of them. I'll click on Titus 2. Just click it once, click it twice. Chapter 2. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, sound in faith, and charity, in patience. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded, in all things shewing thyself a pattern of good works, in doctrine shewing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters, and to please them well in all things, not answering again, not purloining, but shewing all good fidelity, that they may adorn the doctrine of God our Savior in all things. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously and godly in this present world.